Hi everybody, we're doing a bonus episode of uh, FTL for this weekend. And uh, we're going to be playing a very special ship. The one that is my favorite. Uh, one of the stealth cruisers. Um, as, as you know from my previous episodes, uh, I really like the stealth ships. I think they're great. They're a whole lot of fun for me. They're very challenging and they uh, brings a new playstyle to the game. But we're playing number, uh, the, the C. The C is kind of dumb. Uh, not going to lie, but we're going to do it anyways. Just because... I maybe can make it work, you know, so we're doing it on normal, but, um, so it's a stealth ship, okay? And it has no stealth. That's the best way I can describe it. It has no shields and no cloaking system, which is the defining attribute of the stealth ships, is to have cloak. So there's no cloak. Uh, you have a drone bay instead, which you get to have a shield overcharger, which, uh, Creates like a, a periodically one block of a, of a, of a Zoltan shield. Uh, so that's that's your defense. That's that's all they decided to give you. Um, the weapons themselves are like they're using the new laser charger, which is like basically you can fire like one shot at a time if you really want to, uh, which it mimics the A because the A has like the dual lasers too. So it basically is like the same thing, except it charges slightly slower. So it kind of it blows ass. Uh, I don't know. It's it's. As I said, the only saving grace of the ship, in my opinion, is that it has long-range scanners. Uh, that's the only thing that makes it worthwhile. Because I love the long-range scanners, because that's just, you know where you're jumping into, basically. The layout's slightly different as well. Uh, you have the clone bay, of course, because all the Type-C ships have the clone bay. Uh, it's just, you know, it's kind of like, it, it has its advantages, I guess, so I can't, I can't complain. Um, it has no it has no sensors either. I should also mention, uh, but you have a slug, so that doesn't really matter. So it's a stealth ship without stealth. So I'm gonna call it a very ironic name: Splinter Cell Conviction, because that's that's a that's that's a game. I probably spelled that wrong, but I don't give a fuck. Because that's a game. That's a stealth game without any stealth. So I I, I figure it's the most fitting uh, with relation to the ship. And I'm gonna be a black dude. Um, and I'll all canned here, and, uh, this guy will be... Oh, look, I can edit like this. Bumhole. Okay. So that is the, uh, the epic crew of the USS SC Conviction. And, uh, let's get going. So I'll show you how the mechanic works in a little bit. Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna show you right now, because, uh, we're fucking jumping into a system with, uh, uh, this guy. Okay. So, he has a, a drone here, and I'm gonna go, uh, max out. I'm gonna put on the shield. Okay, so, while well, my weapons are charging, so the charge laser is just perfect. Okay, so he just created a Zoltan shield, okay? This will absorb one point of damage. Um, it's kinda like, as I, as I said, it's got the five points of, of Zoltan shield. It will block transporters and do all that other crap that Zoltan shields normally do. It's bad because you don't get it off the bat. You have to basically have this thing create it. Uh, it's a renewable Zoltan shield, but, you know, when it gets hit, it's just gone. The nice thing is that this was a two damage shot and the Zoltan shield goes completely down like that. Um, it would also block the bomb had I uh, actually blocked it and he actually missed that completely. All right, I'm gonna hit their shield room. Uh, is it possible for me to... Uh Look at that. Look at that fucking... There you go. So... It, I'll tell you why it's bad. And the reason it's bad is because... It's just... It, it's nice because you can take out... Like, you can absorb a missile shot, which is something that you... That, like... Uh... It, 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 normal shields can't do that. So it's nice for that. Oh, look. Five shields, five missiles, and eight scrap. You know what? That's a lot of fuel, so I'm gonna take that. It will it, it will absorb uh, it will absorb a missile hit, but however, if it's like a missile that does like three damage, okay, goodbye fucking shield. So it's it's nice if you have high evade because then it kind of stays up, and then you get to kind of get more shield out of it. So that's kind of the plan for this ship, at least for me, is to try and get evade, and then try and get either cloak or, or shield soon because that it it doesn't it's not a good defensive option. Guys, um, okay, I'm gonna fight this ship. Turn on this. You also get an anti-drone, which is utterly fucking useless. So I'll show you that. Like, it's obviously there's no point in me using that right now. Okay, so this guy has a really fucking 
big ass laser. Alright, let's go. Uh, fuck me. He's gonna. So, okay, I have an option here. I can either. Oh, actually, I can hit two. Uh, three systems. Oh, there goes my weapons. Rip the ship. And that, look, no shield drone either. So we get the guy from engines to come over here and hopefully help, but he's slow as fuck, so... And there goes weapons. So it's, it's once again, it's it's got all the problems of the stealth ship. Like, of basically, you, you just get fucked. And he's repairing basically everything. Uh, well, there's not much I can do here. Thank you for repairing that, because now it's just utterly useless. Alright, let's see if I can go hit his weapons. Okay, there you go, I got a hit off. My O2 was hit, but that's okay. I'm wondering if I should jump away. I could. I got another, I got another shot. Okay, that's that. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick. I'll stick with this for now, and I should probably charge up the mini beam. Okay, shield drone, go up. So you know, it's good for absorbing, like as I said, like things like shields. Okay, so you take out that. That's fine. All right, we we got him anyways. Uh, sorry, it's good for t absorbing things like missiles because regular shields can't do that, but. It's just, it's, it's not, I would say it's good to have one, uh, not more than that, at any point in time. Uh, that, that, that's where I'll basically, you know, I guess, extend an olive branch. Uh, because it is actually possible on this ship to run three shield drones, because this is a special one. This is a special one that only requires two power. So, it is entirely, po you can do that. Um, but... You're a moron for doing that because, as I said, it's you have three blocks, and especially late in the later systems, it's just fucking useless. So you know, early on, you can kind of, I guess, use it to to kind of help out with your like. It's the only defensive option you've got, right? So you beggars can't be choosers, I guess, in this case. Um, but you know, it's a problem. All right, all military ships were have been damaged. Or destroyed during the rebellion. However, there are reports of Mantis War Camp only a few jumps away from us. Okay, I'll pledge to do what I can. He gave me some shit, and then... Okay, I have to go into the... I gotta go into an asteroid field. Uh, why is that a bad idea? Well, let's see, because fucking asteroid field! Okay. <laughs> this is the worst possible scenario for me at this point. I'm, I'm gonna max out evasion earlier on, because I kind of need that. He's got a Zoltan shield, too, to go with it. Alright. No power to oxygen. All power to fucking this. Okay, luckily it missed. The good thing is about the ship, though, you will actually charge- Oh, wow, he's, like, trying to go for my O2. You will char- You will level up, uh... Uh, like, your evasion really quickly with your, with your guys. Alright, let's just go and... Ah, oh, fuck. I should have waited. Just hit that when you can't. Uh, Alright. Okay, he's powering up FGL. Wow, yeah, I'm getting insanely lucky right now. That, there goes my evasion, so might as well go power those. There you go. Oh god, I shouldn't have done that. I can, I can finish him off right now. There we go. Okay. We're good. Th this should actually keep me alive now, because uh, the, the, the shield should go faster than the, than the asteroid, so... And you see, they missed too, which is a definite benefit. Alright, there's a ship right here. So, as I said, I wouldn't get three of them, but, you know, having just one, I guess it's kind of nice. Okay, I'll reject your offer. I'm not going to pay your fucking toll. Alright, so now we have one of these enemy combat drones. I guess I might as well uh, show you what this thing does. So it just, it just ions it. That, that's it. So now his drone is just useless. It doesn't, it's not very effective. You see, he's still got a hit off there. It's not like the, the ultimate counter to that stuff. Oh, there goes my engines. All right, his shields. And that. 
Alright, so that's it. That's, um, his systems are down. Uh, I don't really feel compelled to actually uh, deploy another drone because it's a waste. Oh, he got that up. Oh, he's dead anyways. It's just, uh, as I said, it's, it's, yeah, having just one shield drone is good, but it's, they don't stack at all. Uh, we could go up to the quest. Let's go, let's go there in just a second. Alright, prepare for a fight. Probably should have got another point in, uh, uh, whatever, the, end, uh, the power. Alright. So I would, I would say a good strategy for this ship is to get something like, keep this guy, get a defense drone, and perhaps a boarding drone or, or something of, of that sort. Alright, and let's go hit... Yeah, I don't think I can hit more than three rooms here. Yeah, no, it's, it's done. Yeah, let's just keep doing that. The nice thing about the uh, the charger laser is it actually fires relatively quickly. Let's hit that. Oh, wait, I can hit three rooms again. It's not, it's not a ship that's like impossible to do well with. It's just really, really hard. All right, so I want to go to the quest. So we're gonna go over here into the side. Oh, and I didn't power my oxygen. Go me. Alright, I'm gonna aid a civilian ship that's being chased by a pirate. Power up weapons, there we go. Alright. So, use a shield drone. Um, as I said, I already attempted a run. I didn't say this, but I already attempted a run where I actually ran two shield chargers, and it was just... It was the most useless thing I've ever done in my life. So, that's, that's why I kinda like, I came out of it, I'm like, okay, I wouldn't recommend this to my worst enemy. Yeah, we can't position this in such a way where we hit more than three rooms. It's it, mini beam is kind of odd. Go on, go shield charger. Also, that ship has NGs. There we go. You can still be effective with it. It's just, it's just hard. Okay, apparently a ship uh, being assaulted was a science vessel. They offered me a reward. Wow, I have a lot of fuel. It was a good run. Alright, I'm wondering if I should go into another system. Now let's just go, let's go see what the mantises are up to. Our good old friend, the mantises. You find the encampment. There are far too many to count accurately. You send a long-range message back to the settlement at your findings. Fortunately, there's not much you can do. It would be suicide to attack directly. Oh, but there's a patrol that spots me. Well, fuck you, patrol. Uh, these guys have a teleporter. They're, they're actually stronger than average. So, they're gonna board me. So, using my advantage here of uh, the Zoltan shield, I can actually keep him on my ship. Okay, let's go help attack. But it's apparently not necessary. All right, so we're gonna attack piloting like all three of these rooms. I, I don't know what the hell that was. He, sent, he just had some kind of bomb there. We do have a clone base, so we can lose our crew, it's okay. I, I, people seem to forget that the crew is so expendable now in the new expansion. Like, it doesn't matter if you lose them. And that's it. We win. And that's it. Uh, they won't... That's, uh, we should leave actually right now, because, uh, there's really nothing else for me in this sector. Alright. Uh, there's a rebel scout attacking a small fueling uh, post. Okay, well, we'll intervene to defend. So they came out with a... I really should get another point into the drone system, just because then I can power both at the same time. For, he has a beam weapon anyway, so that really actually wouldn't make a difference. Don't attack my fucking beam weapon. You see, look how long it takes for him to target. It is stupid. <laughs> just, it's so annoying. I, I hate the anti-drone. That's the first thing I would kill. Like, I would just get rid of that. Alright. And attack these two. Why do I hear fire? Better, it better not be on my ship. Let's go look around. Oh yep. Yeah. That's the problem with not having internal cameras. Oh fuck, go help them just before like something bad happens here.
Alright, we're good. Uh, I apparently still didn't take down his uh, shields here. Both missed. Alright, let's just... Come on, just charge later. Come on, just give me, give me, throw me, throw me a fucking bone. Come on. <laughs> uh, RNG, save me. Oh, there we go. His weapons are back up. Let's hit his fucking whoop. You fucking kidding? There we go. Thank you. He didn't get the fire. Alright, so we got some salvage from that, and Elpa sale says, Oh, we've been harassed nonstop. Here's some bullshit from us. So we're gonna either go to Zoltan Controlled, which means, um, uh, retarded ass Zoltan Shields that I have to fight through, or Uncharted Nebula, which sounds much better because I have a slug that basically overrides that. And no sensor system to go, go down. So everything, go everything. This is actually like, I would actually do the opposite in every other fucking, uh, uh, stealth ship, but this is not a, your typical stealth ship, as you probably have guessed. I really need to go upgrade some shit. Alright, so... Uh, like, maybe like the drone system, like I said, like, three systems ago. But now that's that's fucking crazy talk. Alright, good. W which one is this guy? Oh, it's a beam one. And he, he look at that, he, f he even fucking missed. Okay. Yeah, well, fu just fucking kill him. Oh god, fucking now everything's on fire. Thank you. So now I better not lose anybody. <laughs> Damn it. This is the worst fucking drone. It honestly is. Oh, and it's back online. Alright, so let's attack uh, his drone subsystem. Let's see if I can hit it. Yes, I can. Okay. Unfortunately, that makes things a little awkward, because now, even though this drone is perfectly here and another shot would kill him, he's not going to fucking do it. He's just going to sit there and mope. Okay. So, we need to now... Repair that. You can go repair this. Uh, while I go do this, while I go finish the ship. Fuck. Because I'm kind of worried now. Because not having a clone bay and that, you know, that's a problem. I can only take so much. I've learned my lesson. In the last couple of runs I've done of this game. Not really. I, I don't I don't fucking learn anything. I stopped learning since like I graduated school. That, that my information just in my mind is just set to one thing. This is why I forget everything all the time. Because fuck everything. Alright. And that's it. That guy's done. Now let's go actually get the drone subsystem before I forget. Is there a store nearby? No, there's a store nearby. Fuck that. I changed my mind. Alright, so there's some trade depot near a rock. Okay, we can get shields. Um, I can't get shields, I think. It, it's a big investment this early on. I don't need it now. Uh, as much as I, I like to say I need defenses, uh, I don't think it's a good idea right now. Automated reloader, after y'all, charger, no, all this is just, no. like, maybe the reloader would be good. I don't need it, though. It's been nerfed, actually, in the advanced content, by the way, so, yeah. Oh, I could buy another anti-drone, just in case, like, I want two of them to fucking hit stuff. Um, we also got heavy ion, because these two weapons are not going to cut it for very long. I could do that. Uh, I would rather have, like, a bomb weapon or something, to be honest, so let's skip out on that, too. Okay, so, let's go repair, and let's go buy ourselves. Daddy needs a new drone upgrade. Alright. Uh, I could also potentially buy another point into engines, maybe. I need defenses, so that sounds pretty good. And we'll just go to these couple here. Okay, I can go to one and then the other. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so let's attack the ship. So once again, our, our brimming strategy of um, attack everything we see to get maximum scrap, especially in these early systems. Uh, are you fucking kidding? Okay, he ki this is another problem with the shield drones, okay? They get hit a lot and get taken down. So I don't have a shield drone, and I have a cooldown on it. I can't fucking rebuild it. So... 
I don't know what the fuck that even hit, by the way. Alright, and then let's go attack that. Let's attack his weapons again. Okay, he's gonna power up his FTL drive. Not if I have anything to say about it. There we go, he's done. It's just, and it costs drones to basically for me to rebuild that, so. And that happens a lot, like, more than you think. And just imagine, like, during, like, the final boss fight, that happens all the fucking time. Alright, so there's a Mantis, uh, here, whatever. Oh, oh, Mantis Breeding Grounds, it's disturbing as fuck. They need to know that. Alright, so they got a missile weapon and they have a, a dual laser charger thing above. Okay, so it's almost charged, so we're gonna put maximum power into this. See, and, that, and then that's basically a free hit right there. And then he hits me anyways, okay. I'm, d I'm depressed. It's, it's fucking the ship, man. It's kind, it's kind of dumb. Yeah, but luckily I got that, so. Alright, yeah, his weapons are... Oh wait, he's got like a fucking NG repairing that. That's okay, though. NG schmengy. Alright, so we got a bit of scrap here, so another point, just so I don't have to take out power from oxygen constantly. Like, I mean, fuck this, like, I got, like, so much power into engines right now. It's my dodge chance, like, evade is 35, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, the next point I could either put into clone bay to get more heals, which I'm inclined to do, but that's the only point I'm putting into it. I'm not a boarding ship, so... Uh, that will heal my people. Like, the people are wounded still from, like, fucking last system, right? So, okay, so there's a heavily damaged Federation ship hiding uh, in the nebula at this beacon. Before you can make contact, they fade into the nebula. Okay, pump extra power into the sensors. Local radar f uh, flickers, uh, periodically showing signs of a large object in clouds nearby. However, it's enough to get the coordinates and you find a ship. It's an empty hull, stripped of uh, functioning components. Oh, well. All right. Uh, if I go here, I can't, okay, because of the fucking, I guess it's kind of going down. Oh yeah, both of them are going down there. Okay, let's go down here. Sorry, I, I wasn't seeing the connections in the systems. Apparently in the game they've made it, it's really quiet here by the way. They've made it so it's impossible now for you to get uh, um, a system where you you can't, uh, there, there's systems not connected, which is something that actually happened a couple times to me. I'm going to attack this this motherfucker here. Alright, so because of the fact we're fighting a drone, I'm gonna put power into anti-drone. You missed! You had one draw job drone, uh, honestly. It was consistent or fired more rapidly, it would be worth it. Oh, he's like, okay, fuck your clone bay. <laughs> fuck! Hate this guy. There we go. And look at that, it's like the fucking shield drone, Just it just doesn't want to live. Fucking hate this ship. Okay. Uh, now that we don't need you, let's go over here. I don't know why I have a rock guy repairing fucking everything, but whatever. Oh wait, I should power oxygen. It's just one of those things I should do. Alright, you gave me 20 salvage and, oh look, an anti-combat drone from the ship, which is, guess what that is? <laughs> this is the game's way of saying fuck you. Okay, this is this is this is the, what the developers did. I another of those fucking drones. I hate them. God damn. Okay, there's a fucking mantis that went in my path and it's like, uh, next time humans all die, there won't be a next time. All right. You have to go help. I don't know. Now, there's unfortunately a beam weapon. There's nothing I can do to evade that. Like, it even brought my evade down just slightly. Okay, there you go. I tried to bring it down as far as I could. Okay. Because of the fact that the, the other benefit to having another point in the, um, the drone bay is obviously I ju it just took a hit, but my shield drone remains up. Uh, obviously, that's a huge advantage to me.
Because now I don't have to like worry anymore. Alright, let's go repair this guy. You know, by the time the Ruck guy makes it there, he's not even going to be like, they're too fucking slow. Alright, now we can also make it to that, um, uh, that store as well that I saw earlier, so. So, so far we're actually doing pretty well. Um, it's, it's like every, literally everything you see that like, that this ship does, it just, it's a fucking stupid ship, basically. Alright, so now we got, we can buy sensors, ooh, whoop de doo Uh, let's not. Uh, or we can sell drones. That sounds pretty good. Pike beam is a no. Uh, even though I can hit a lot of rooms. Oh wait, assuming there's no shield to stop. Yeah, no, that, that's just no. A flak gun doesn't sound bad. Uh, oh, there's also like a lifeform scanner, which is useless to me. Fire suppression, also useless. Reverse ion field, useless. Okay. Um, I can't buy the shields because I have, I don't have enough fucking anything to, to buy the shields with, so. Flak, as I said, sounds pretty good. Uh, cause that, that does a good job at taking, uh, shields down. Especially for later, so we're gonna deal with it. We're gonna deal with that. So I gotta get two more points into weapons and then I can use that. And we're gonna go over here and then we can make it to, that, yeah, that's a pretty good route. Alright, so rebel ship bursts out of nowhere. Alright, so he's gonna attack my engines. So as you can see, I'm not even I'm not even waiting, by the way, for any, like anything to go online because there's no point. Oh god, don't don't burp. Oh, there you go. They hate the clone bay. Alright, just, just heal it, whatever. Alright guys, so they left me some more scrap behind. Man, it's a good thing this isn't a boarding ship. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll put another point in a clone bay so it doesn't go down. And so far it's gone down like 14 times. Alright, so we got 25 and then 35 for the next point in, in uh, weapons. And then I'm content. Alright, so we'll go up here now. And let's see what we've got. Oh, we got a pirate ship. And you assume it's a smuggler because it's trying to stay away from the beacons. Well, fuck your day. Alright, so uh, we're going to do something a little bit more odd. So the charge laser, we're gonna use the flak cannon, because that, I, in my opinion at least, is gonna be much more effective against the, um, the shield here. So we're gonna, uh, yeah, let's just do this. Okay, and it sounds like, it sounds like fire. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. That's where the fire is. Okay. It's not a good place for fire, so actually, uh, well... Uh, we can go vent the O2. Just so it doesn't go down. Also, I forgot to bring up my, my, my shield drone. It's my own fault, I'm sorry. Might as well bring the doors up so they don't breach through anything. Alright, so with the flak, we're gonna hit, let's say, that. Okay, so this is like very likely now to hit, um, hit through the shields basically. All right, so now he wants to escape all of a sudden. Okay, now let's equalize pressure. Uh, enemy FTL delayed. I don't know. I'll just hit the shield room. That's it. And he gave me another laser charger. Nice. And there we go. Okay. So laser charger is the exact same except his. The new one charges slightly slower and requires one more power. So it's useless to me. Why is it? It, it appears like... One second. Oh yeah, so it just says that variant. It, it literally just says that it requires less power. All right. We'll do something like that and charge these weapons. All right, and now I can also put one more point into that. Is that all I really needed? Yeah, apparently that is. Okay, so now we have all the weapons. So I'll head over here. Uh, there's no. I glance out, but there's nothing but but nebula. So, uh, of course. Oh, there's intruders on board. 
Alright, well. Yeah, so unfortunately everybody has to come here and help fight. And if they die, then they just die. Also, we'll vent air from this room, and the reason I'm doing that is because then they won't go into there and take it out. I'm just getting ready for the inevitable, someone's gonna die. Oh, wait, maybe, wait, no, that was close. Oh, cool. How close that was. So, I lost one person, who cares? Not a bit, not a big deal. And literally that's all that event did was it's like, oh, okay. Wave goodbye to your, your skills. Actually, no, we need to now. Okay, next sector it is. So it's either pirate controlled or rebel controlled. I don't know. I could go into another nebula over there. Uh, may, I'll, I'll do that, so I have that option. All right, so. We're in a pirate sector in the nebula, so uh, I guess that's all the time we got for today. So next time we'll continue the stealth type C. Take care, everybody.